Okay, I'm back. Yeah, there's nothing here. Um, I've had a few folks ask about ordering from that online company that's really cheap. And I'm going to put the link down in the comments. It's T-E-M-U is the company, and you have to download the app, and then you can order from them. As long as you're ordering like $10 or more, I think. It's been free shipping, or maybe that's just after your first order. I don't know. But um, I'm going to go through the things that I've been getting from them and show you and then um, tell you what I've paid. So some of it was lightning deals. Some of it was regular. Um, anyway, no wonder it was hard to get into. The, the packing is pretty good on it. There's only been a couple of things that were messed up. And all I had to do was message them and they refunded the money and said just keep the material or trash it or whatever. So, anyway. Yeah, it takes longer to unpack than to use it. Okay, so this is the cover and this is the brush and it goes on this way. Okay? And that just protects. Now, this is that really soft brush. Can you see how soft? It's just super soft. It's like touching a baby's cheek or a little baby's bottom. These are the ones that I was using with the chalk pastels for backgrounds. And I'm going to order enough of these. I spent $1.49 on this one. I'm fixing to order more. And I'm going to get them for 80 something cents a piece. And I'm going to get enough that I can use them. I'm going to try it first with my gelatos. I'm going to try one with gelatos and see how it does. And if it does well, I'm going to get the six basic color groups. Get one for each so I don't have to keep washing them. I can just leave them, hopefully. We'll see how it works. But anyway, that was one. And anything that, um, that you need help in finding, you let me know. So this is an order that came today. So I have not even unpacked all this. Printing templates. Okay, that first one was called a foundation blending makeup brush toothbrush. They call it a toothbrush because of the handle on it. So if you put that in, you're going to find the cheapest ones and just look around to see. Okay, there's one. These, $1.79 total for all the stencils. Oh, that's just what I wanted. I bought the whole thing just for this one. Bricks for backgrounds on pages that have houses and stuff. Is that not cool? I can't tell you. I'm excited about that one. I <laughs> just am. So, and this is going to be fun too. So anyway, all of those were a total of $1.79. And that was called Printing Template 8-Pack. All right, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, let's see, what was next? I'm trying to look at my order here. No, yeah, it was this one was next. So this is another stencil. It's a 5 by 8 one-piece plaid DIY stencil. Okay, and like sometimes... You'll get those little bits in there that are not completely cut, but you can see how that just popped out. Okay, that one was 59 cents. So when they're paying shipping, y'all, I can't help but order from them. And again, use my link that's going to be down below in the description because after so many people um use that link for me i'm gonna get to get some free stuff so i would really like to and i don't think you even have to order you may just have to download the app i'm not sure and check in you know set up your little account with them and you don't have to pay anything up front or anything 
So, okay, this one, this is a four-piece zebra leopard something, and it's animal cake decorating stencils. But I thought these might would be fun on like um, one of Johanna Bassford's books with um, Jungle, you know, on one of those pages. All four pieces, $1.18. And again, these are the prices that I paid. Here's the next one, one piece transparent plaid silicone. It's a four by six. And it says one piece, but these are two separate stencils. And I liked it because when you stamp with it, it's going to leave those lines. I think we call that a buffalo check. But anyway, um, $1.29. Very pleased with that. This is one of my favorites. One piece transparent silicone. And I can't read the rest of it. Oh, come on, this end. Like I said, they're pretty well packed. This one was $1.19. Y'all know how I paint and love to do all things painting. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So, in the books, I mean, who's to say you couldn't just do a couple of these in the margin somewhere? And then draw like a little line to something as if you were painting it yourself. I just thought for for a dollar nineteen, that's really cool. Okay, the next is this, and I've already got one of these, and I've put it up, and it has stayed awesome. Okay, it seems frivolous, and it kind of is. Um, Forty nine cents. It goes in the shower like this. And your shaver hangs on it. <laughs> but it works. And then it's even got the, the waterproof sticky that goes with it. So what I did on the first one was I actually took and peeled and stuck it to this. Left it overnight. Then went and hung it up in the shower. This one's going to go in the tub. So there's that again, um, 49 cents. This little thing, I'm not sure about yet. It was a dollar 28. And we'll have our granddaughter here this weekend, so I'll see. Um, there's not any real rough edges. This is pretty cheaply just poked through, but I'm okay with that. And she can start learning her numbers. But as she get well, she already knows all the way up to 15, but I don't know if she knows them by sight. And then we can teach her to count by fives. And then we can show her the other numbers on around, you know, and I'm not sure why that's, what that's even there for. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Because there's, that's the other thing. There are really no instructions with this stuff. But anyway, I thought for $1.28, that might be fun for her to have. Okay, what else was in this bag? Um, oh, these. I have bought three bags of these now. And there are a hundred per bag. You pull them out and they look like this. And you're thinking, what on earth did I do? They're called 100-piece disposable plastic. Look how big that opens up. So when we fix a meal or something, and we've got leftovers, I can put these on. I can, instead of foil, plastic wrap, any of that, I've been using these things. I took something the other day and put in it a sandwich or something, and then I just went and folded it over on itself and laid it in the fridge. And I went back a day later and it was still soft. So yeah, um, these things, I cannot tell you. And it says I paid $1.18 for my last package. 
and I got two. And I just keep them in a container on the counter. Even my husband knows where they are. Uh, these, I got two of these this last time. And they are one-piece multifunctional scissors, 68 cents. Okay, and let me tell you, they are sharp, so be careful. I don't know how well it's going to hold up for heavy duty, but I seem to go through kitchen scissors, so that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. We are already 10 minutes in. Wow, i got to get a move on. Okay, this one. I do not know if this came from on there or not. Could not figure it out. There's a little clock in the middle. Okay? So, don't know. I found it laying with my stuff. Okay, that was for my last order. I paid $14.09 on all that in the last order. Um, let's see what else I can find. That was this order. I'm on my phone and I'm trying to find past orders so I can give you prices. And I'm not finding them. So I'm not going to be able to give you prices right now on the rest of it. But you know by that first batch how the prices are. Okay. This is a metal template. And it's to use with my cutting machine. And um, what I can do is, is a die cut it says. Now I'm not sure if it's a die cut or if it's just embossing. But I can lay this flat even on my um, coloring pages and rub down in there. Okay, so that works as a stencil. Another one that works the same way just as a stencil is going to be this one. And this is a three-piece one. And looking back, I probably would not have bought this one just because the pieces are so itty-bitty. Okay, just the openings. So this one I would not recommend. All right. Um, we've already used this one. That was from here. Uh, these were from here. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom back in again. Okay, the feathers. And then here's some butterflies and a dragonfly and then um, here's some more butterflies and some more butterflies so these are more um, cartoony to me these are a little bit more realistic and then this had the dragonfly on it so that's the reason I had so many different ones plus like we were looking at the prices you know that cheap why not um, leaves and this big one of leaves okay so all of this stuff is from that one place y'all I'm telling you I've had fun shopping and it takes about two weeks to get it these are light bulbs hanging and I thought that might be fun on one of uh, Johanna Boss Bassberg's books with the, um, you know, where they've got things hanging that are lit up. I thought that might be fun with that. Okay. And then this one has several different things on it. I liked this and I liked the fireworks. Or I think it's fireworks or paint splatters. Anyway, I just thought there was a lot of texture to this one okay uh, this is actually a jar gripper and we've used it just to stamp the uh, bee honeycomb shape now if you do this and you're going to stamp with it cut that outside edge off because that did print on part of my page but that's the only thing I didn't like about it and that's because I'm using it for something that's not supposed to be used for I may get another one of these for in the kitchen. Oh, but then I don't need to. I forgot I bought this. This, oh my gosh, you have to pull it open some to fit like your jar of pickles and stuff. So it's not real big for big jars, 
but you snap that on and then you just squeeze and my gosh I can open stuff I have the hardest time opening things but anyway so I got that I still may get another one of these for the big ones because those grippers they give you at different places sometimes as a gimmick thing they just don't hold up to me you know they're just not lasting like I want them to they do wear out um, speaking of kitchen it's for meatballs we make meatballs every winter but it's really kind of flimsy I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up so I'm not sure that I would really recommend this it was a buck something I think okay kitchen a magnet for my dishwasher believe it or not I did not have one and it was mm, don't remember cheap okay another stamp and we've used this once already remember the fish all right good what else can we find over here in my pile yeah i've bought from them three different times now i've not tried this yet i need to get batteries in it but when you cut something plastic open then you can run this down the side and it supposedly will like put a little seal across it what i liked about this one is it's magnetic so it'll hold on the side of the refrigerator right there where we use it so and i had one of these once before and it didn't really work real good so i tossed it so i'm not sure how this one's going to be hopefully this will work better again have not tried it yet oh back to stencils this one we've not used it yet but i really like it okay this one we have used this one we've used a couple times or at least once this one i think i used twice but anyway, so anybody that's on the fence about getting stencils, you know, look at that. I love that. Yeah, if you're on the fence with stencils, this, this is your time to go ahead and get some. I got two packages of these. They're the white pens. They write fairly good on some of my pencils. Um, I did get two packages because they were so cheap. But again, not real sure. Um, maybe just get one and try it with your particular brand of pencils first and see. Okay. Then this thing. I'm not even sure, but I can be enticed. And if it looks like it, it will help me with my drawing and angles and stuff like that. And here it's got stuff about the angles. Um, then, yeah, I bought two. <laughs> One, I think, is going to end up over at my niece's for her kids because they're always drawing stuff. But it comes in this nice little bag, too. So anyway, and again, had to have been cheap or I wouldn't have gotten it. I finally put all of my um, olive oil and... Um, uh canola in a different kind of jar and i couldn't find my stickers nowhere these were like a buck something and there's 50. so i got one package and i kn i know i'm not gonna run out 50 no there's 40. so and it's a good size this you know i've always seen things like this and I've had different ones, but they've never had everything together in one concise spot. It's always been like this or just this. And it's magnetic. Now, it did come a little, a little bent up, but um, it sticks on the refrigerator great. I'm trying to think what else I've already gotten that I've put up that I couldn't bring in here. Um, these I got for my daughter-in-law. Can you see how it's a little book with a heart? They're, they're little paper clips. And I also got a set in rose gold for my daughter and already gave her hers. These I have not used. I just got them the order before last. Yeah, I think I've ordered with them three times. <laughs> so, yeah, I know it looks weird, but it spins. 
So you screw these four onto the bottom of something, or you can stick them, because there's some stickums in there. And then um, you're making it portable. So it may end up going on the bottom of one of my baskets over there that I have scrapbooking stuff in, so that it'll just glide right out to me. Double-sided, sticky, thick tape. This is that stuff, we used to call it red tape when I worked at Michael's because it's sticky on both sides. Okay, it's really cool and I was completely out. So I like that. Um, another set of stencils. Let me tell you too while I'm opening these. My granddaughter wears Crocs. Her mommy gets them at um, the resale places that she sells their stuff at and so I got the charms um, these are the only three I kept out of the princess package because a lot of them were weird colored I sold all the rest of them on marketplace in one day for double what I paid for the whole package I, I can't lose you know not with that then these and these are some these are the um, same thing but they're the um, baby shark and she wanted to keep all of them and I was like of course you do these are going in her eggs at Christmas I don't put a lot of candy in I'm just not that grandma so and then there's this This is um, Bluey. And she loved all these. I've actually gotten two sets of these. And um, I sold one set again for double or triple what they charge you. If you look on Marketplace, people are charging a dollar a piece for these. The whole package is like about three dollars so you can sell the whole thing for a lot more and make your money back just like that and then I also had some that I already sold um, there was a package of I think there was a package of superhero and there might have been a package of Oh, let me think. Oh, of autism. So, and I sold them all. In fact, one guy bought all of them. And then here's some stickers. This is just what's left. And they're bluey stickers. And we use them for rewards for Evie when she's on the potty. And then I bought these. Now, these I probably would not buy again. There was only one in the whole thing that was broke. But these are super cheap I mean I can see them breaking right away so when she's here Saturday we're gonna play with these in our hair a little bit and see but yeah so I would not I would not get these um, stickers this was two different packages by two different companies but they have a lot of the same stuff in them but they're all birds and they're they're almost like a vinyl and they're sticky back well they're stickers yeah but anyway would i buy these again oh yeah yeah i would now these came in this little box and it was two packages and you didn't know what you were getting and they showed lots of flowers and out of four or five sets of flowers they showed one box of leaves and they sent me two boxes of leaves just like they refunded it. Okay, so didn't mind too much. These came in like a little matchbox. And some of them are like terribly bent up. Now that I'm talking about it, I don't see them. Maybe I bent them all back. But anyway, um, I told them that they came bent. And they said, well, keep it. We want to refund your money, though. And I was like, oh, cool, okay. And again, birds, because you know how I love birds. Okay, like that one. See how that one's all bent up? And some of them were like 
severely bent, but again, I was just going to flatten it back out. But if they want to refund my money, I'm not going to argue with that. And then, let's see, this is the last of the stencils. Um, this, I think, was to do rock painting or make up your own mandalas or something. I forget. So this is the first time I'm really opening the package. But it's just circles with all the different lines. And there's three different sizes. And they did all come in one package at one time. And again, I don't remember. But I'm thinking I can use a ruler and elongate that line and just do different things with them. So, anywho, that is that. What else did I get? I got, hang on. I am coming back. I know I should have pushed pause, but I was afraid I would totally disconnect us. I got this. And it's actually two pages. I've not even taken it out yet. Well, I guess I'm going to have to rip it open to get it out. And again, it wasn't very much. And look at that. Instructions and in English. <laughs> So anyway, this is what came in there, and then this, and if I recall right, they are like a cling. Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe not. That leaf's not cut out, not all the way. I can feel where they're printed on. Surely they let you rearrange it how you want. Okay, anywho, I'm going to put them on. There we go. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe it's supposed to be the whole thing. Yeah, I'm not real sure see if this peels off since I cut all my fingernails off again um, yeah don't know um, definitely gonna be giving them a holler if I can't get this to work because that's one thing they do stand behind all the different shops that are on their site yeah, I don't know what's going on with these. So, yeah, I can't get them to peel up right. So, I will have to look into this. So, no, don't order these. Okay, the other thing. Um, I have in my other room. Oh, I have to show y'all. Okay, this. wasn't going to show you this today. That is all my coloring supplies. And, do you remember when I did the walkthrough and I wouldn't open this closet door? That's the closet now. I am so proud of this closet. It was so full that when you opened the door, you had to hope that nothing ran out. No, actually you had to hope that nothing would climb out. So, okay, well, I think that's going to do it for right now. Um, thanks for stopping by, for watching, and I will see y'all in a few days. Bye.